Hey everyone, it's me, Sabrina Isabel, and welcome back to my channel. So before we get started into this video, please subscribe to my channel. I know you guys out there has been watching my videos and have not subscribed to my channel. Subscribe to my channel. So by the title of this video, you guys already know it is a review. And it's on the new Dior foundation that I actually bought. And this foundation was released in Singapore on 1st of March. This is how the packaging looks like. So this is the foundation right here. And this is the Dior Skin Forever Undercover 24 hour wear full coverage fresh weightless foundation high pigment and it's a water based foundation I'm in the shade 040 so in the website this says that this fluid 24 hour full coverage foundation combines maximum complexion control with a natural matte finish for a result that is kiss proof touch proof life proof all night all day so this basically just covers up all the nasty thing that is going on in your life if you're having a bad mood you're having a bad day because it's life proof so it just covers everything up all the nastiness in your life so this is how the packaging looks like it's like a rectangle shape so when you unscrew it it comes in a squeezy tube which is leak proof get a very good amount of control of your product of how much you want it to be on your face or how much you want to squeeze out. This retails for $74. You can buy it on their official store in Singapore or you can get it in Robinson. I got mine in a Robinson. And then, you know, I was deciding, going back and forth, should I get something else? And then I decided, okay, why not? I went ahead and just got a, a Dior lipstick. So I got the shade in Sophisticated Matte. And this is a Comfort and Wear 16 hour long wear so this is how it looks like really sleek packaging and this. okay so that's about it so let's jump right into the video and i'll show you guys how i apply the foundation on my face and how it wears and all that fun stuff so let's go okay so main thing before we start into foundation um do have to prep your skin real well for the first i'll be using the sephora booster which is the re revitalizing a booster and then after that i'll be going in with the neutrogena hydra boost essence and so this is a water-based moisturizer so if you guys have oily combination like me it just really mats your skin down but at the same time it just hydrates your skin and then for lastly I'm, and i'll be going in with the makeup forever step one skin equalizer and i will be like using this primer just at my t-zone area where normally i'll be oily not all over my face so this is how one side of the face looks like with foundation and so it's really really lightweight and it has medium coverage it's not like the extremely full coverage i can still see like my problem areas and a little bit of discoloration over here it didn't really cover up that much i have going on my face but this is just like one layer of foundation on my skin it's almost like skin like so i kind of like it and i'm just going to just go ahead and apply a little bit more foundation over here and see whether it does let's see whether it becomes patchy or does it actually blend it in this is how it looks like it's like really flawless it didn't make my makeup look patchy so let's go ahead and apply the other side of my face okay. i've already applied foundation around my entire face okay so i'll close around my mouth area since my skin is dry it does um, bring out if you do not moisturize your skin properly it does bring out but the rest of my face is looking really good guys just around my my lip area and we'll do something to fix that don't worry so i'm just gonna go in with my elf hd concealer and just go around my lip area after doing that it just made this area here just look even more flawless guys so you guys know that i like to go in with two shades so the first one i went in with is deep beige 45 and the other one is a uh, golden 40 so after blending out one side of the concealer, it does really blend with the foundation so nicely and just gives it a very nice highlighted under eye area. So just let me go quickly and finish up the rest of my face and I'll be back. So as you can see, my entire makeup is done and I love it. I love it so much guys. This makes my skin super flawless. Okay, so the reason why I did not do my lipstick is because... I got the Dior lipstick as well, so I'm going to go and try this out today. So 
So, so far, I'm really loving it. It makes my face look super flawless, super even. Loving it so much. So, I'll definitely check in with you guys for the 8 hours from now. And I also will put in the oil test at the end of the video. So, stay tuned and I will see you guys soon. Hi, welcome back to my office toilet. Okay, so this is basically like 6 hours of foundation on my face. It's pretty good. I mean, it did settle a little bit into my fine lines. That's pretty normal for me, but um, it's picking up much more on camera. But on when I'm looking at myself in the mirror, it's not that bad, guys. It's really, really good. Foundation is still the same. It's still like matte on my face. And it's just a T-zone area. It's a little bit shiny. Not too much oil. That is uh, not too much oil at all. Still looking flawless, guys. Okay, so I am back now after work. I've not touched up my face at all. I mean, my T-zone area is um, looking shiny. But up front, it's telling me to actually block my nose and pat down my face. And it did settle into my smile lines quite a bit. Can you see? Mm, lipstick is still pretty much on. Not as pigmented as it was. But I do need to say that the lipstick is by far my most expensive lipstick that I own. Uh, this retails for $50 and it is really worth the money guys. It's really worth the money. If you want to reapply it on top, let's try and see whether it has the same feeling or it feels thick on the lips. So it just went on super nicely. So after reapplying the lipstick, it still feels very nice on the lips. It doesn't feel thick. Not sticky at all. So I really like it a lot. It's still looking like pretty flawless on my skin. But I do need to quickly throw this in. All my foundation reviews are based on cold temperature. Most of the time I'm at work and I'm under very, very cold temperature like aircon. Because of the temperature difference, your face actually releases more oils um, when you are in cold conditions. So always remember that when you're in normal conditions, your face um, doesn't release that much oil. But especially when you're in cold conditions, if you're oily, it does release oil to keep your face moisturized. So always remember that. Okay, so before we end this video, let's go ahead and check out the foundation oil test. So let's go to that right now. Okay, so let's go ahead and put a bit of foundation. Alright, that will be all. We have three drops of oil right there. And we'll just wait like one hour. So this is after one hour guys. So as you can see, that it did not do anything to the foundation. There we go. As you can see, it's like super tiny cracks at the side. But there is like nothing on top guys so this is like one hour so we'll wait for another one more hour and then we will have the final verdict guys so this is about like two hours right now and there is no difference the foundation is still intact it's just that right at the corners there it's just a little crack but okay so there you have it this is a wrap guys so i hope you guys enjoyed this review and if you did give this video a huge thumbs up follow me in instagram and in twitter subscribe to my channel of course and comment down below and let me know if you guys have tried this foundation and how do you guys feel about it so i love you guys so so much and i'll see you guys in my next video bye guys